thrilling, exciting, magical, uh, playful edition here of the Melrose Scoop. I am here, very lucky to have Melrose's own Sam Hammer. Sam, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Bill, for having me again. I Abs love the scoop. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a pleasure, always. Um, so we're sitting here, chilling here at uh, the Melrose Common, um, talking about, uh, we got an election coming up. We September do. September 4th. Yep, so September. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so the election is coming up, the primary on September 4th, which is a Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. But luckily in Melrose, we will be back in school next week, so families will just drop their kids off at school and stay to vote, and then they can get on with their day. And that's the primary reason why we wanted to talk to you today is that I don't know if a lot of people know that it is an election day because it's more of a primary election, okay, correct? Right, right. And we just wanted to remind people to go out and vote. Now, you are running for state senator. I am. Which is awesome. Thanks. Very exciting. So tell us, you know, what inspired you to run and, you know, how's it going on the campaign trail? So it's going really great. Um, Melrose and the communities in Malden, Melrose, Wakefield, Reading, Stoneham, and a little bit of Winchester is really responding because we're all going through the same economic crises of living in Massachusetts nowadays. Uh, between the cost of student loan debt, child care, senior care, and housing, um, we're all getting suffocated as working families, and we need our state legislature to work quite a bit faster and have the same urgency that we need. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely, which is kind of why we thought we'd bring it to you here from the common here. Um, you uh, have really been a champion uh, for um, uh, you know, controlling the costs of child care. Um, tell me about some of the things you envision, you know, if you get elected, some of the things you, you plan to take care of. Sure, so the first thing would be that for low-income families, there are around 24,000 unfunded vouchers at the state level. Those are 24,000 children who don't have uh, spots in child care because the state just hasn't funded those vouchers. Um, the second thing to say is that in Melrose alone, there are around 1,200 children under the age of five that don't have spots in licensed daycare centers. There aren't enough seats for children under five in Melrose alone. It's 4,500 throughout the district, but again, those are seats of, for children in licensed daycares that just don't exist. This is a business development opportunity for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and we need to get people back to work who uh, choose to go back to work who can go we have to go back to work. But then also, if we want to be real about universal pre-K, we need to move that budget into the Department of Education um, and really put the appropriate funds behind it. Right now, it's under the um, early ed and child care budget, which doesn't make sense. It needs to be considered a part of the education budget and we need to fund it and start opening some schools. Excellent. Yeah, we definitely we will we definitely have that problem here in Melrose, oh, don't yeah. we? Yes we do. You know, and, and, and especially and I think Wakefield as well. Uh, just not enough um, seats for, for the kids and everyone because the, the population, you know, from a real estate point standpoint is turning over. Right. You know, and so it's a it's a big challenge uh, that we have. We're just here in Melrose, they so just built uh, I think two prefab classrooms. Yeah. Um, so it's a challenge. It there, is, so. it is. And from a housing perspective, our housing prices continue to go up, as you know. Um, I should turn it over to you on this point. But um, we are around 34,000 units behind where we need to be as a region to be able to house our workforce and the people who need to live here. Um, and without passing uh, zoning reform and giving our municipalities the tools that they need to build and zone faster, uh, we're never going to catch up. And that was one thing that our state legislature left on the table uh, for January. So happy to pick that up for people. That would be fantastic, speaking from kind of firsthand what, uh, what kind of a headache and the and the, the red tape you have to run through for, for those zoning things, yes. you know? Oh, yeah. um, so that's great to hear. So tell us, on the campaign trail, you've been door knocking You've been canvassing, you've been out there. I've seen you on Instagram. What's your Instagram account, by the way, if people um, want to follow so you? So I'm at Sam Hammer with an A-R at the end. Um, you can also follow hashtag Hammer Time, okay. H-A-M-M-A-R Time. Um, when you've got it, you've got to play with it, I guess. Um, so yeah, the, the, the doors have been the best. Uh, whenever we're, you know, throughout, the, we work all day long and then we go out every night and weekends and just meet voters. 
and throughout the entire district, which is pretty diverse from, again, from Malden all the way to Winchester, there's a big continuum of types of people um, and income and gender and race. So everybody's feeling the same space. This is not, they don't get it. Without perspective, you don't have that priority. And so we need to hire people who actually have been through some of these economic hardships to really put the urgency right at the table. Right, so the background that you bring is definitely going to deliver on that. I think so. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Well, how can people reach out to you if they have questions for you at all? Yeah. Sure. So we're very active on Facebook, so head there. Again, it's Sam Hammer, H-A-M-M-A-R, um, dot org, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, we're a very responsive team. Most of our campaign has been um, pretty digital. And we're having volunteers all the time. So this Saturday is going to be one of our last big canvases um, in Malden. And then GOTV Week. We're looking for runners. Anybody who needs to get some extra steps in, uh, come and hang out. We're looking for walkers and door knockers. So um, yeah, we'll be around. And we, this campaign has been a lot of fun. We always serve food, at least. Um, so yeah, come and hang out their food and they yeah, will come. Awesome. Hey Sam, thank you so much thanks, for Bill. coming. Best of luck. Remember, Ohio, thanks okay? guys. Thanks for guys for and watching and uh, we'll see you next time.